Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is DRL. We are here with some NBA 2K Mobile. In today's video, we will be discussing the brand new Playmakers theme. We will break down the players. We will discuss how to obtain the collectibles. And obviously, we're going to recap how we feel about all these new players that are being added to the game. One specifically I noticed was Devon Williams, which is pretty crazy because D. Will was a beast when he was in his prime. So enough with that. Let's get into this video and let me know in the comments what players you want to get from this team, who you're hyped for, and are you going to try to grind for the Diamond Larry Bird, which will be the first reward for the Gauntlet event coming up. And that's obviously if your power is 8,000 or higher. All right, so enough with that. Let's get into the video. Heading off this new theme is Diamond Magic Johnson. As you guys know, Magic Johnson has the best stats overall for a point guard. But there is another point guard in this team that does give Magic a run for his money. So Magic does have an ability called Theme Loyalty. So if you pair him up with two other Playmaker cards, he will get a power increase. So this theme is gonna be super helpful when you're getting those style points. In addition to that, you'll be able to get extra power on your players if you have two or more Playmakers. Then you got Diamond Larry Bird, right? I already said he's gonna be a gauntlet reward. So it should be a good opportunity for everybody to get a really, really solid small forward. Larry Bird is one of the best small forwards in the game. You know, after LeBron James and Elgin Baylor, Larry Bird is right there with them. And he has a theme loyalty as well. Asker Robertson is the other point guard I was mentioning. He is a diamond player and he's one of the best gems in the game. I talked about this on Twitter, so if you guys follow me there, you already saw my thoughts on the Oscar Robertson. But honestly, it's been a while since we've gotten a high-ranked Oscar Robertson. The last one was a Ruby version, and he held me down during my seasons. He was able to help me push into the I'm at the seasons with ease. So Oscar Robertson is one of the best of all time, the original Mr. Triple Double. Then you got an Onyx LeBron James who starts off for pretty high power. Power is almost 7,000. So he's gonna have a lot of value even with the diamond cards out. And LeBron is the theme loyalty as well. Now I'm really crossing my fingers and I hope that LeBron is a reward in this event because it's been a while since I got a LeBron James. The last LeBron I had was Amethyst Foundation LeBron. Next you got John Stockton. This time around he has the Onyx treatment. He could be crafted with 25 collectibles. Then you got Pistol Pete Maravich with the Onyx treatment as well. Giannis now has Amethyst, which can be crafted. So people will get an opportunity to get Giannis. If you haven't gotten Diamond Giannis, then this is a good opportunity to get a new Giannis. Then you got an Amethyst Luca, which is pretty crazy as well. Then you got Deron Williams, which can be crafted with 10 collectibles. And these collectibles you can obtain from the event store when opening up packs or you can get them from the events as rewards he can be crafted with 25 amethyst rings so if you've been stockpiling amethyst rings it's a good opportunity to create a very good point guard and just looking at his stats he's pretty good shoot off dribbles of five mid-range shootings of five playmakings of five and everything else is either three or four so you know he still falls into one of the tiers of the top point guards he's not elite like magic johnson and oscar robinson but the wrong wounds is still pretty good then you got a Ruby James Harden. So it's another Ruby James Harden, right? We've seen a few of them drop over the last couple of themes. He has a dual ability. So if you pair him up with Sapphire Russell Westbrook, he gets a power increase. So this is good for newer players. It's really going to help you guys out. He can be crafted as well. And of course, James Harden is one of the best shooting guards in the game. You know, he's an elite company with Tracy McGrady, Penny Hardaway, and Jason Richardson. Then you got Chris Paul, Ruby version. Then you got a Ruby... Jokic, which can be crafted with seven collectibles. Here goes the Sapphire Westbrook, who has a dual ability. So if you pair him up with Harden, he will get a power bonus, and he's crafted with five collectibles. And you got a Jimmy Butler Sapphire. So again, good for newer players. Sapphire Jason Kidd with the Brooklyn Nets. He can be crafted as well. Draymond Green Emerald, which can be crafted. And he got Drew Holiday Emerald, which can be crafted as well. And then last but not least, you got Marcus Gasol, who can also be crafted. So some pretty good Emerald players, again, for the newer players in the game. Should really help you guys out, especially with the events. And for the set for this theme. Oh, this is pretty sick. I'm actually excited about this. So you can get Diamond Oscar Robertson if you collect Drew Holiday, which we saw could be crafted. 
Russell Westbrook, Jokic, Giannis, and John Stockton. So if you get all those cards, you'll be able to get Diamond Oscar Robinson for free. So I got to make sure I definitely post that update because I was hoping he was a gauntlet reward, but then 2K announced it's going to be Larry Bird. So this is cool. So if you're going to grind some packs and you're going to collect the items needed to craft the players, then this will be a good chance for you to get Oscar Robinson. Now, as far as the packs, the only pack in the store right now, we'll show you. That's going to be the crowd pleaser. And a crowd pleaser gives you an opportunity to get Diamond Magic Johnson, Onyx LeBron James, Onyx Pistol Pete, Amethyst Luca, Amethyst Deron Williams, Ruby James Harden, Ruby Chris Paul, Sapphire Jimmy Butler, Sapphire Jason Kidd, Emerald Draymond Green, Emerald Drew Holiday, Emerald Marcus Gasol. Pretty good lineup, and then you know you get an opportunity to get one collectible along with two random rings. So that is pretty much it for the theme. As far as upcoming events, we have the mini domination going on right now, but you do have an opportunity to earn some Onyx players. And as far as other updates, I did grind the fantasy finals to a certain extent. So I was able to earn this new member to my squad, Onyx Clay Thompson who actually had a really decent power level, was higher than my Luka, so he's on my main lineup, so it was worth the grind. He's not maxed out yet, so you know, he should easily get his power up to about 11,000 or more, right? So it should be pretty exciting to have him draining some threes on my squad. Gives me another great shooter to pair with Kevin Durant. Old school Warriors, right? And that's uh, pretty much the update as far as my team, right? 88-15 is the power. If you didn't catch my stream, we also got Diamond Jokic, and over the event, we were able to upgrade Giannis up to three stars because we got another Giannis from Seasons and we used a couple players to upgrade him as well. So that's it. That is the update for the theme, my team, upcoming domination event. So definitely hope everybody good luck with the grind. Keep positive. Keep your heads up. And let me know in the comments what players you want to get from the new theme because it's a pretty solid one. There are many good players in this theme. And it should be a lot of fun playing upcoming events. You got Gauntlet and then Domination. All right. So other than that, thank you. Peace out. Hey, thanks for the support. If you want one of your clips featured in one of my videos, then definitely check out the description where you'll have a link to go to my NBA 2K Mobile Highlight Submission form. Just fill out the questions on there and send me some really cool gameplay. I'm looking for gameplay of new theme players, dribble moves, alley-oop dunks, and some game winner buzzer beaters. I'm excited and I can't wait to feature one of your clips.